If you're one suffering from those bulging varicose veins or even spider veins, you know, visually are unattractive, but there is a lot of pain associated with these veins, Dr. Grover is the man for you because you can help save us from this pain. I can. Um, some of the new venous treatments that are available are very uh, patient friendly. They're less traumatic to the patient. You can have the procedure, walk out and regular activities the next day. See, technology has come so far to make this possible because I've heard of the stripping of the vein and things that you have to do that take several weeks or a couple weeks anyway to recover from. Uh, tr stripping traditionally you're stuck laying down for two weeks. Yeah. Um, you go to the bathroom, to the kitchen, and back to bed. Um, the new procedures that we're doing now, um, I haven't done a stripping in almost six years, and the new stuff is much better. Well, it's good for us as patients because we don't have any downtime. You're not losing work hours, and you've got beautiful legs again like that, literally. Uh, it does make quite a bit of difference. I got to where I could do a stripping really good. I went and did some extra education and uh, I was still having to have the patients lay around for two weeks and I'm like there's got to be something better and that's when we found the venous closure procedure where it is better. Okay, explain that to me, the venous closure. In fact, is this here the uh, drawing of that? This is. Uh, the venous closure is a catheter that we place inside the vein. The catheter then heats up the vein wall which causes the collagen in the vein wall to constrict. It's like zipping the vein closed. It's equivalent to a stripping because we've diverted the blood out of the vein that isn't working right and it's done in the office usually in less than an hour and you get up and walk out when we're done as opposed to surgery with stripping where you had to go to the hospital, general anesthetic, and then lay around for two weeks afterwards. And so the vein is literally staying there and you're closing it off and diverting that where stripping was taking it out. Am I understanding that correctly? That's correct. Stripping, you take the vein out, it's 100% effective. The blood can no, long, no longer go through this vein because it's not there. And the blood gets diverted into the veins that work to get back out of the leg like, they sh like it should. In a closure procedure, we close the vein down, leaving it in the leg, which is where all of the differences come from. We don't have all these other branches left hanging in nowhere land. Um, they're, they're going into a vein that's closed, so they shut down and everything works like it should. And then the blood just diverts to a healthy vein and continues on working the way it should. That's correct. It's much better than it used to be. Okay, well let's talk about how they get in contact with you and when you might be needing that procedure. You don't have to wait for pain. Um, and typically your vein's going to bulge, but can you get it done before that starts to bulge out? Um, most patients actually come in when they're having pain. It's like, you know, my legs are starting to bother me. I get home from work. I have to sit down and rest, put my feet up before I can do my chores at home that night. Um, so that's where I see most patients. Some of them do come in when, you know, I'm starting to see varicose veins. I don't like this. And it varies on which veins are the problem veins. Usually when they come in and it's a pain issue, there's more veins involved because it's a progressive type disease. Um, it doesn't just stay as, oh, this vein is bad. That leads to another vein and it starts spreading through the veins. So um, the more veins that are involved means more treatments might be involved. So it just depends on what you have, but you, des you don't always have to wait until you're severe before you come in. Right. Okay, so if you have any questions at all about your own particular needs and legs, um, come on in and talk to Dr. Scott Grover. And then you're going to look at the legs and give us the diagnosis or whatever, is that, if that vein needs to be closed, or again, the spider veins I know cosmetically are a big deal with like my legs. I don't have the big bulging veins, but those little spider veins were really fun to get rid of. Yeah, the, we have to do an ultrasound of the veins. Um, we use a duplex ultrasound so that we can determine which vein is actually a problem. Mm -hmm. If we're going to treat a vein, we want to make sure it is a problem. If we treat a vein that's working, well, that's one that we could use to get the blood out of the leg when we treat the veins that are bad. So we only want to treat the veins that are an issue and then we can move on from there. Um, we usually do the spider veins as well with it um, so we can get rid of everything while we're at it. I know and you just want to have your nice legs back. That's one thing I think that the women especially miss more than anything is wearing the dress or the shorts with their nice legs and getting that back. Now men obviously have the varicose vein issues as well. Uh, they do. Um, 
men get them just as much as almost as much as women women are actually a little more prone because of some of the female hormones and pregnancy is actually a big cause it uh, contributes to that as well so and uh, also then after you take care of it you're out and about working and no problems there now what about insurance does insurance cover this procedure most of the time the insurance will cover this they do have some uh, they've made some hoops that we have to jump through we have to play their games um, but most of the time if we go through their hoops we can get the insurance company to pay for it and um, then the only thing left that the patient might have to pay for is cosmetic issues and we'll usually throw in a a, sc a sclerosing treatment with some of the other treatments if they're wanting to do that as well. Well, fantastic. I talked with a, a patient earlier who said her, she had met her deductible and she decided, I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's for cosmetic reasons as well as the pain issue. But it was time she could do it with her insurance because the de deductible was already met. Yeah, she uh, didn't have any issues. Um, we had uh, vein disease in both legs, although most of her symptoms were in one. We were able to treat her legs in a couple of days and she's back to no more bulging veins my legs feel great no pain in a day or two you two could be pain free and have gorgeous legs again dr grover how do they get a hold of you uh, my phone number is seven five two seven one two three and we're located uh, next to spence's pharmacy in the logan medical complex easy enough thanks so much mm -hmm.